I made it to the league, and after that, I signed the Jordans. Have you met Mike? Yeah, a few times. You got on a yacht. That's like the biggest flex. So you're like, oh yeah, we got on a yacht. Yeah, oh, that's just, yeah, I call him sometimes. <laughs> Happy birthday. I have three gifts that are for you that you get to take home. I want them to help me find out a little bit more about you. Ooh, okay. Yo, 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 I am your host, Jacques Slade, and today's guest is a professional hooper and one of the swaggiest people in sports. It's Taya Cooper. Let's see what's in the box. Today, my guest is a professional hooper, and she's one of the few athletes signed to Jordan Brand. Ladies and gentlemen, Taya Cooper, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So I've done a little bit of research on you, and I found things inspired by you. So for this first gift, uh, it actually came out the year you were born, 1997. It's a favorite of many basketball players, so let's take a look at what's in the box. Ooh, okay. okay it's like okay. my favorite colors. The Air Jordan 13 designed by Tinker Hatfield. Tinker thought that Michael proud on the court, like a black okay, okay. the way he moved and he was so agile. And so this is inspired by a black cat. And you can see how this kind of looks like a paw. And then here is supposed to be like the eye. You signed a Jordan brand. Can we talk about that a little bit? Like how did yeah. that happen? It was after my rookie year, my dad called me. So your dad called you and let you know that, you, that the deal was going through? Yeah. It was crazy because I went to the Jordan brand classic in high school and that was the first one they had in like 2015 for mm -hmm. women. I made it to the league and after that I signed the Jordan. So it was just like crazy. Have you met Mike? Yeah, a few times. He came to the Jordan brand retreat they do with everybody that signed. We did a photo shoot with him and we just was chilling. So for those of us that, that don't get to chill with Mike, <laughs> <laughs> take me to picture, like what's the trip like? Okay, you get in your room. It's like full of new Jordan gear. We had got fitted for the photo shoot. At the photo shoot, we just popped up, just jumped in the photo shoot. Like, it's just normal for him to just be out here. And then we got on a boat, a yacht, actually. <laughs> and it took us to this restaurant and we ate and yeah, we were just chilling in Jupiter. That's like the biggest flex. You're like, oh yeah, we got on a yacht to yeah, the restaurant. Yeah, I call him sometimes, happy <laughs> birthday, you know? <laughs> Yeah, just be chilling That's with them. That's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about what you got planned for this year? I got three. There's an all red one. There's a black one. It's kind of like a sexy basketball shoe. Okay, a sexy basketball shoe. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It's a different energy, it's but black. I like it. It's black. It got different textures. And then I got another one that's just like bright, colorful, stand out. Do you feel like there there's a movement for like women's signature shoes or women, women's shoes? Yeah, for like sure. Asia Wilson just did one with Nike. But to like your own shoe, like your design, I think that it's coming. So for this next pair, this shoe was created by a woman hooper with Jordan Brand. Does that register anything? Might more. All right, well, I guess you already know what's okay. in the box. Okay. I mean, that's the, she was the first person, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. This is the Air Jordan 10. This shoe was designed by Tinker Hatfield for Jordan. And mm -hmm. Jordan had stopped playing basketball and he went to play baseball this year. They didn't think Jordan was coming back. Obviously he came back and won three championships. So if you look at the bottom, these were all Jordan's accolades. This particular colorway was by Maya Moore and Alele May. It's all inspired by Jersey the Yukon for Maya Moore and her colors for the Minnesota Lynx. What does she mean to you as an athlete and really as a person as well? She was the GOAT for women's basketball. On and off the court, she was just that example. She is the woman's Michael Jordan. What was like the first shoes you balled in? When I was like in like sixth grade, I played in these like doofy Adidas. <laughs> like the big ones with the, the three stripes. Like, oh, like, like the big. forum, the forum. It's probably like the forum. And then you transitioned to Kobe? Yeah. Was it just Kobe's shoe or was it Kobe that made you want to ball in the shoe? I mean, you can't wear the shoe without respecting Kobe. I love this game. I love what he stood for. It's like the best basketball shoe to hoop on. So your dad brought you, did he bring you into the game or were you already playing the game in your dad? Absolutely dad's? not. I was not going to be a basketball player. I wanted to model at the time. I feel like the uniforms was just like real like huge with the big shorts, the big shirt. I wasn't doing that. We moved to Georgia and my sister was playing. I just got tired of sitting at her games and watching. I seen somebody and I was like, oh, I could be her. Like if I really tried, I could be her. I told my dad I wanted to try it and he told me I had to train. I trained for like a year and then I went and I had a game, like the rec league and I did like a spin move. And one of the moves worked that we worked on and after that, I just believed in it. When did you start thinking like the league is an option for me. I feel like you start thinking it when you beat somebody that's in there. Were you already beating girls in the league? Early? Well, I was playing up at like sixth grade. So I was playing with the high school players and then they was going to college when I was in like ninth grade. And they was making it, I'm like, oh yeah. These shoes are partially inspired by UConn. You committed in eighth grade and then you changed your mind and then you yeah. went to another school and you went to another school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> 
So t talk to me about the whole college process. Like <laughs> what inspired the UNC commitment early on and mm -hmm. then like what changed your mind? They had a coaching staff and they had a team that I wanted to play for and the coaches that left, a lot of players left. So then I decommitted and then I decided to go to Tennessee. I did my freshman year and then I sat out my second year because I tore my ACL. The coaches staff changed, players left. I decided to go to South Carolina. I was there for two years. I wanted to play point guard and I wanted to go to a school where it was all about me making it to the league. And I ended up going to Baylor and I signed to Kim Mulkey. What's unique about Kim? The passion she has behind her players. I just really wanted somebody who believed in me and what I was capable in. <laughs> I did end up going to three great universities. Yeah. I would say that, and they, I had great coaches at each school, especially Dawn Stately, like, she was awesome. So for this last one, this one is uh, inspired by the way that you flex uh, a little bit of Jordan in it. All right, let's see what's in the box. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> That's all right. This is the Air Jordan 5 Off-White designed by Virgil Abloh, rest in peace. This is obviously a super unique take on the Air Jordan. The holes are in representative of air, like letting the air through the shoe. The unfinished style, which is Virgil's like claim to yeah. fame, so you can kind of see the process of how the shoe is actually made. You rock this for Media Day, so you have to take me into why you chose this for Media Day. If you're not signed to a, a shoe, you have to wear Nikes. I could have worn ones, but I feel like everybody wear ones. Yeah, it was a great shoe that had just came out. Yeah, that's why I picked it. You started through the bubble. Talk about that experience of just playing in the bubble. I feel like it was such an unfortunate situation, but on the bright side, just being optimistic about it, it was a lot of spotlight on everything. Like everybody was on lockdown, so I feel like everybody was watching. I feel like that kind of brought a lot of attention to women's basketball at the time. Some people decided to opt out because of everything that was happening in the world. That's where I got my opportunity and I got to play in the bubble. It was great for me. Do you feel like more people are starting to recognize the value in women's sports? Yeah. The men supporting us during the bubble and what we stood for in the bubble brought a lot of attention too, honestly. What are some of the misconceptions about women's sports or women's basketball? Can I feel like everybody that? loves women's basketball, but I feel like you talk to somebody else and it's like, the boys don't believe in us, then da 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 I be feeling like everybody loves us because I always get hearts and all types of stuff. So I think the most amazing part is the fact that these women are mothers and their kids was just right on the side or sitting at practice. It was That was just wild. I don't think the men could do that. Like y'all might could dunk, but I don't think y'all could do that. I think we got that on them. I, I definitely did not look at it that way. So we got three, Air Jordan 13, we have Maya Moore, and then we have Air Jordan 5. So which one of these do you think is your favorite? I would pick Maya Moore for my favorite off the court, and then I'll probably hoop in it off white Jordan. I would definitely hoop in these. You see me work out in these. All right, I'll be looking for the photos. I'll give you these to take home. They're, those are yours. All That's three all of those right. Are yours. What? Well, oh, you're yeah. giving me some Jordans, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I know, it should be the other way. Wait, you signed the Jordan, I should be, I should be hitting you I up. I needed a new pair, too. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, well, let's go take a look at the wall. Okay, all right. Show you some of the things over here, so. Route should I take? This way? You can go that way. So you say you've been, you've been playing in the Zions? Let me see what kind of shoes you got over here. So, I got a little Zion too. Oh, yeah? Here. I wore those. Yeah. That was good. Have you tried them? Yeah, yeah, but I, I didn't play them the same way you did. <laughs> my, my run. Do you like them though? Are they comfortable? For yeah, you? yeah, they're comfortable for me. They, I love them. 